This has got to be the way to live. Britain's upper class knows how to do things in style. Many here are experts when it comes to etiquette. Euromax reporter Jana is keen to find out more. It's very unlikely that I will ever be invited into these notoriously closed circles. But in the internet, I came across an address that could help me do just that. More than just good manners is the brainchild of Veronica de Lopinier. It offers visitors a taste of life as an English aristocrat. We've lived in Suffolk for 800 years. My father's a farmer. We've always ridden and hunted. Um, my brothers shoot. So we come from a very traditional country family. And our relatives and friends live in wonderful stately homes and castles and are happy to welcome uh, guests uh, to, to come and stay with them uh, as their private guests. Trying out traditional British pastimes is, of course, a must. Hunting, polo, and for the ladies, riding side saddle. Well, I'm not going to look as elegant as Veronica is, but I'm only a beginner. But I think it's my turn now. One, two, three. The ladies' saddle has two horns, as they're known. Now flick this leg over. These support the legs and stop our intrepid reporter from falling off. And now we're ready to go. The side saddle means ladies in traditional long dresses could still look ladylike while out riding. I even managed to trot a little. I didn't expect that before. I'd say uh, side saddle riding doesn't feel too unsafe. It's quite comfortable and I really enjoyed it. A coach ride in Sino Park Castle is next on the agenda. Visitors are normally only allowed in the park on special occasions. And what could be more fitting with grounds like these than a traditional English picnic? An all-weather event in England. How easily can a picnic be spoiled by bad weather? If you've got Wellington boots on and a nice dress and an umbrella and you're trying to look smart with your smoked salmon sandwiches, it just makes it more amusing. Fly fishing is another skill you'll need if you want to look the part here. So Jana has signed up for a lesson. So I'm going to keep on casting and then just play with the line to pull the fly in. It doesn't take long before a fish begins to bite on Veronica's line. Yana gets to pull the fish on land with a net. This was a big success, really. I mean, it was the biggest fish I've ever, well, caught, caught. in a Yes, lake. it was very exciting. I think he must have been about six pounds, three kilos. Yes, it was um, a good fight. In the evening, it's time for the most important lesson, how to look and play the part at a formal black tie dinner. Glemham Hall is just the place to learn. Yes, traditionally, you were meant to speak to the person on the left, weren't you? You start off technically on the left. And then up, the next course you turn to your right. Yeah, so when the host turns, other people should, but nowadays it's, sort of, it's pretty flexible. At a black tie dinner, gentlemen are expected to wear a bow tie and preferably a dinner jacket. Ladies wear an elegant evening dress and their best jewelry. After all you have seen today, I'm sure you would like to know how much it would cost to be a guest of the British upper classes for a day. I'm afraid I can't tell you. Besides very many other things, I have learned that talking about money is just not good manners. And so our day with the English upper classes draws to a close with fine food and pleasant conversation in beautiful surroundings.